So, Crept from rap group Captain Conan was stabbed at One Extra Live yesterday in my hometown of Birmingham. Um, now, there's just a few things that I want to get off my chest. Um, and I'm going to name them one by one and then I'm just going to literally go through them. So, security checks is uh, one thing I want to run through. The stabber. And basically what the consequences are of like these things happening first and foremost i just want to say crept hearing that you're fine it's really really good to hear that you're, you're cool and you're okay and nothing's wrong with you and nothing's happened obviously you've been through a lot this year yourself anyway now on to like the really serious the, the serious things now um security checks now don't get me wrong i've been to like festivals and events where security checks aren't really done efficiently i personally can't see this improving from the, you know, old, oh yeah, search me like this, blah, blah, but you know, how we need to really have a conversation about how in depth these checks are. You know, when you go into a festival, you might have things like metal detectors or like sniffer dogs or whatever for like drugs and what have you, yeah. But like, I feel like that needs that that needs to be translated. It's for the people that are going there, but it needs to be translated to the people backstage as well. They should have to go through the same checks as the people because they are still the public. Secondly, the stabber now, um, it's it's not the the the, the story's not fully come out and it's not it's not concrete about who was with who, sorry, and who did what and what have you. But however, what I do know is you're backstage with an artist, someone who's worked really hard to get in the position they're in. You're gonna put that at jeopardy just because you can't control the beef that you've got with someone else. It's a thing of you, you guys can surely like like not have to not have to bring that to them places. Like there's other there's other ways you can handle beef and other 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 avenues you can handle situations. We've literally just seen someone from Mostax's camp who was involved in a stabbing at a concert, and look how that blown look how that blown up. He literally went off the radar until he dropped a photo the other day from what i'm hearing as well crep weren't even the intended target so crep just unfortunately got caught got caught in the crossfire of the of the beef another thing to do with this stabber when you're doing them type of things obviously you've got to know there's going to be so there's going to be probably loads of people's got their loads of people are going to have their eye on you there's going to be press back there there's going to be you know groupies and stuff like that some people are going to talk and if they know your face they're going to they're going to say oh he did it do you know what I mean? The, the, like, so, and I already know, based off what I've read off Twitter, they're already talking to they're already talking to the police about who was involved, what happened. So things like prison time is a thing. Um, you know, retaliations as well. Another point I want to make is literally to the, the to, to the people. Why is it every event has to end in, on a sour note? Why is it that you know? We go to an event and then we hear, oh yeah, this if the event was sick, but this person got stabbed or this person had a fight or this person, you know, something, ha something happened at the event. Why is it always the case? And the thing is, we've got something, we've got something good, we've got something really, really good brewing in this UK scene at the minute here. And when little things like this happen, it takes it takes away from it all the time, little by little. And you know you're gonna have them dickheads out there that are gonna try and try and like make this about oh you know it's the drill music they're listening to so it's 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 in, it's encouraging them to be violent blah blah like so it's just li it's little things that are adding fuel to the fire for other people it's one of them like birmingham's probably never gonna host a, another live extra event ever again what i'm really trying to say is like just just think man like even 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 out to the artists as well like you know some artists are cool with the uh, boys and they know what they're about and do you know what I mean and just think like it's not that time to to bring that kind of vibe to this place all I'm trying to say is just please start the madness before something bad really happens because imagine if we would have woke up this morning and heard Crep was dead like in all seriousness imagine if we would have woke up this morning and had heard Crep was dead like that's why I say people like the, the the security checks, the security of the venue should have been a should have been a lot better, should have been done a lot lot better. Just because I don't I don't believe things like that I've been seeing on Twitter and Instagram. Like I seen a fight break out in the crowd that was there that was happening for at least like 40, 40 seconds to a minute. That should have been boxed off straight away. Um, obviously the stabbing. We're at a point now where we're really big and these events shouldn't be down put shouldn't be put on a downer by these sort of actions by just a mind like a, like a minority it shouldn't it shouldn't it shouldn't be happening still and i feel like it's gonna keep if it keeps on happening 
as I said, we're going to lose the trust of the events, the companies, the cities, because at the end of the day, you're just going to get told, no, you can't do that here because you're too high risk, which in turn means that some artists won't be able to perform in certain cities. We've seen it before. History is going to repeat itself. Where do I want to go with this really? Just just stop, man. Like, it's, it's not worth it at the end of the day. It's not not worth it at all. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here, give my little two cents. Um, as I said, a little different story, a little different thing. It's music news, music related. I want to kind of do these. Crept and Conan have been doing a lot recently for the scene. You know, they've got the tour coming. Crept and Conan just had its, I think it was one year or two year anniversary. I'm not too sure. Um, you know, uh, they've had the Rap Game UK. They brought them people out on stage yesterday. I just feel like they're going from strength to strength, man. And they've got an album coming out soon. So I wish Crept a really speedy recovery because I can't wait for that myself. Um, but yeah. That's actually been it for me, man. Um, yeah, so just comment what you think about the whole situation. Uh, leave a like down. Leave a like down for me and uh, make sure to subscribe. Um, if you want more videos like this, then yeah, just tell me and I'll definitely jump on it. But yeah, this is these these will obviously get better with me when I do something once. They always get better. Everyone, stay safe. I can't stress that enough. Stay safe.